Hi, what's up, guys? Amigo Reels is here. Today, I'm going to explain a movie called Blast from the Past, released in 1999. At the start of the movie, we see Los Angeles in the year 1962, when the Cold War was going on between America and Russia. There was a lot of speculation surrounding the atomic bomb. Russia plans to show its power to America. The scene shifts to a party and we see Dr. Calvin. He is a scientist and a very rich person. His wife is Helen and she is pregnant. Everyone is enjoying the party. Meanwhile, a friend of Calvin comes there and tells them that John Kennedy is replying befittingly to Russians on TV. Calvin switches on the TV and he notices John Kennedy, who was the president of America, saying that, We don't fear Russia's atomic bomb and we are ready to respond to them. After listening to this, Calvin assumes that a world war is about to start. Therefore, he sends everyone back home. He goes inside a bunker with his wife. He is a scientist. Therefore, he knows everything about the atomic bomb. He believes that a world war is inevitable after what was shown on TV that day. Meanwhile, we see a fighter plane flying in the sky which is on the same mission. As it is flying over the city, the plane malfunctions and the pilot has to eject. Unfortunately, the plane falls on Calvin's home. Calvin thinks that the world war has started. Therefore, he closes the door of the bunker. The bunker was designed in a way that it could only be opened after 35 years once it gets locked. The environment takes 35 years after an atomic attack to get back to normal. Therefore, the bunker is designed in such a way. It means that Calvin and his wife are trapped inside the bunker for almost 35 years. They thought that the world war had started above, but they are wrong. After the blast, their friends can't find their corpses. Therefore, they believe that they have died. On the other hand, Helen is pregnant. Therefore, she gives birth to a child. They are happy that their child will repopulate the earth. They believe that the environment is polluted and everyone has died. Dr. Calvin is a scientist. That is why he has designed the bunker in a way so that it can sustain for 35 years. It means that they have food to eat, a constant electric supply, plants, and even a fish tank. Therefore, they will never fall short of food supply. Three of them have become used to it. Adam has grown up now. Dr. Calvin teaches his son Adam a lot of things like mathematics, science, and politics. He even teaches him sports, karate, and boxing. His mother teaches him dancing, social skills, and a gentlemanly attitude. Then we see that in 1965, a bar opened on top of their bunker. Calvin teaches Adam other languages and stock market knowledge as well. Now Adam has fully grown up, and one day they are celebrating his birthday. Now 35 years are about to end. Adam desires to meet a girl on his birthday. Calvin says that within two years we will be out. Finally, the day comes, 35 years have passed, and the lock on the door automatically opens. Adam asks whether they can go outside. His dad says, not right now, we have to wait till night. At night, Calvin comes up via lift. The floor starts shaking up there. Two homeless persons sitting on top think of it as an earthquake. Calvin comes outside in a radiation suit. The homeless person gets unconscious seeing Calvin in a radiation suit and coming out from the ground. He gets scared. Calvin comes to know that his house has been converted into a bar. He gets astonished to see some of the technologies he never imagined. He only comes across bad people. He sees a lot of poverty and crime. Calvin gets scared. He goes back to the bunker. He tells his wife and son that everything has changed outside. The society we used to know doesn't exist anymore. People have changed for the worst. It would not be safe to go outside. Therefore, he decides to live in the bunker. His wife gets infuriated listening to his decision as she doesn't want to live in the bunker anymore. Calvin gets a heart attack amid all this. The food supply is also about to end because Calvin stored food for 35 years. 35 years have passed now. Therefore, Helen decides to send Adam outside so that he can bring all the necessary things. Adam is about to leave the bunker for the first time. Calvin advises him not to go near the adult bookstore as there is a poisonous gas there. Then Adam comes up via lift. Again, that homeless person gets very scared seeing Adam and apologizes to him for every wrong thing he has done in his life. He is considering Adam a god. Adam tells him not to worry and leaves. He sees the open sky for the first time and gets excited. When he goes near an adult bookstore, he makes everyone leave that place, stating that there is a poisonous gas just like his dad told him. Then he sits on the bus and starts talking about weird things. Everyone considers him mad. Then Adam goes to a store. They tell him if he buys things in bulk, they will deliver them to his address. As he hears the word home, he recalls that he has forgotten his home address. He tries to find his house in the whole city, but he doesn't find a way. Now the sun sets and Adam has run out of money too. Therefore, he decides to sell his classic baseball cards. His dad had given these cards to him. 
The shop owner is very happy to see the cards. He is only selling them for $500 as he doesn't know the actual price of the cards. Then a girl named Ava comes there. She works as a shop assistant there. She inquires about Adam's whereabouts. She tells him that each card you have is not just $500 but values around $6,000. Adam gets very happy and confirms whether the value of the cards is so much for real. Ava reaffirms that. He starts liking Ava after seeing her honesty. After that, Ava takes Adam outside and leaves her boring job too. After coming outside, Adam tries convincing Ava that he has lost his way back home, but Ava doesn't believe him as Adam is a grown-up man. He asks her to drop him at the hotel. In return, he will give her a baseball card valuing $400. Ava agrees. She drops him at the hotel and leaves. The next day, Ava comes to his room and says that, I can't keep this card. She returns it and starts to leave. Adam falls in love with her even more. He tries to stop her, but she doesn't stop as she has been searching for a job. Adam asks her to work for him for two weeks. Ava demands $1,000 a week. Adam agrees and they start buying the things Adam's mother asked him to bring. Adam needs to buy groceries for two years. Meanwhile, Adam asks Ava to find a wife for him. He asks her that the girl must be from California as her mother thinks they are good girls. Adam learns to drive for marriage. Then Ava takes him to meet her friend Troy, who is gay. She asks Troy to do Adam's makeover and make him look more stylish. Then we see that Calvin is sleeping and Helen uses the lift to go up. The homeless person with his companions is praying there. When Helen comes up via the lift, the homeless person asks her who she is. She says that, I am a mother. Everyone starts chanting, the mother has come, as everyone considers her the goddess. Helen gets scared and goes back into the bunker after seeing all that. Then Ava and Troy take Adam's skating. He has been doing this in his bunker. Then he goes to the sea for the first time and watches a baseball match live for the first time. Not only this, but rain is nothing less than a miracle for him. After that, Ava takes Adam to a party so that she can find a girl for him. Adam is very charming and good-looking. He meets a girl and talks to her in French, which he learned from his dad. Ava was getting irritated, therefore she took Adam with her. Then Adam shows everyone his dance moves and impresses all the girls. Ava is getting jealous seeing all that. She goes to her ex-boyfriend Cliff in anger. Adam starts getting jealous of seeing Ava with Cliff, so he goes near them. Both Adam and Cliff get into a debate. Cliff tries to beat him. Here, Adam gets to show the boxing skills he possesses, which his father, Calvin, had taught him. Cliff leaves the party being scared of him. Ava also leaves the party in anger. When Troy, who was also with them at the party, returns home alone, Ava gets afraid that Adam might have lost again. So she goes on to find him. Suddenly, Adam appears there. Ava gets shocked and falls to the ground. She gets bruises on her knee. Adam applies medication to her bruise. Meanwhile, they confess their love for each other. Adam says that he rejected every girl's request at the club because he loves Ava only. Here, Adam kisses someone for the first time in his life. Then, he tells her everything about himself. He tells her that he and his parents have lived in a bunker for the last 35 years. And he tells Ava that he wants to marry her and live there. Ava thinks that Adam is making up stories, therefore she drops him to his hotel. The next day, Adam finds the bar located at the top of the bunker. He goes on to tell Ava about this, but when he reaches Ava's home, he sees that Ava has called up a psychologist for him, as she considered him mad. They plan to take him to a hospital, but Adam somehow runs from there. As he is leaving, he requests to take his belongings from the hotel and pay the rent. Then, Adam goes straight to his bunker, where his mom and dad get extremely happy seeing him after two weeks. The homeless person has also come there. He will help them unload the luggage. Before the staff from the mental hospital catch him, he unloads the truck with the help of the homeless person and his companions. They thought that they were helping God. When Troy and Ava go into Adam's room, they realize that he isn't mad. Everything he owned is very old. Then Troy finds IBM Company's stock certificates in his room. They are worth billions of dollars now. Ava and Troy realize that Adam was right. They start searching for him. They searched for him wherever he had gone, but to no avail. After giving up when they plan to return home, they suddenly see Adam on the road who is going back to his bunker. Ava gets out of the car, goes near him, and starts kissing him. In the parallel, Calvin plans to lock the bunker for the next 10 years. Then Adam brings Ava to his home and make her meet his mom and dad. Ava starts getting along with his parents quite well. Then Adam asks permission from his parents that he has to bring everybody on track by going outside with Ava. Therefore, he needs two more months. You will see that everything will be good within two months. Then Adam goes outside, sells all IBM stocks, and makes a beautiful home for his parents. The house looks similar to the one that got blasted due to the plane crash in 1962. After that, Adam takes his mom and dad to that home. His parents are astonished to see the latest technology. 
Adam tells his dad that the atom bomb didn't fall on our house. It was a plane crash. The war didn't start at all. I have gone through all newspapers. Calvin asks him whether Russia had given up. Adam says yes. Then we see Ava, who is noticing Calvin doing some weird things. His way of doing exercise. Adam says that this is the rule of the earth. First, our parents take care of us. When we grow up, we have to take care. It has been like this since the start. Here we come to know that Calvin and Helen have brought up their child very well. He is very well mannered. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Also, have an amazing rest of the day. We will see you in the next one.